Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Power Driven Diesel. So today we're gonna to be starting a new series. Here I've got a 98 and a half 24 valve Cummins. So this is my personal truck. I actually got it on a trade deal. I think I paid $200 for this truck after all was said and done. I had to replace the transmission in it. But other than that, this thing is bone stock. So we're gonna do a couple of things with this truck. We're gonna test a series of injectors and try to give you guys a good idea of what power packages we have to deliver. And we're gonna back them all up with actual numbers that you'll be able to see on the dyno. We're gonna test three different styles of turbos or four different styles of turbos on each set of injectors. And then we're just gonna kinda of go from there. So this is my beat up rusty old truck, but we're gonna see what kind of power we can make. Alrighty guys, so we just got this strapped to the rollers and we're going to see what kind of power it's going to put down. This isn't going to be a terribly impressive run. So, let's see what she does. So it made 234 horsepower at 26 pounds of boost at a thousand degree GTs. It was like a thousand fifty is the highest we saw, but we couldn't even complete the run. It wouldn't rev past 2770. It was eternity. This truck has I'll no you, power. I'll tell you exactly how long. Seventeen seconds. And it just kind of would move up, and it was probably a mile an RPM for 10 seconds. It was just barely moving. So it was it was a horribly slow little run. So now we'll put a tuner on it and see what it does with the adrenaline tuner. And that's it. We're ready to run this thing and see what she does. Alrighty guys, we made 36 pounds of boost. We were way high in EGTs. We were up near 1600. And what did we make, Josh? 381 horsepower. We did that at 2885 RPM. And then we made 920 stump ripping foot pounds of torque at 1800 RPM. And just so you guys know, that's just an adrenaline tuner with stock box tunes. So, and it's clean. Alrighty, next we'll install the PDD tunes. Alrighty, so that run was PDD tunes. We made, our boost pressure was 37 PSI. We were at like 1500 degree EGTs. And we'll turn it over to Josh to get the boost pressure on the, everything else. So we did at 2850 RPM, we did 403 horsepower. And then at 1900, we did 938 foot pounds of torque. So gained a little horsepower, gained a little torque, not bad. And we also completed the run far faster than we did with the stock uh, adrenaline tunes. So that one completed the run in 22 seconds. And... The first run with the adrenaline was 25 seconds. So he went through the window three seconds faster than he did before, which it's hard to put that in relative terms, but let's say you're accelerating on the highway and you're trying to get up to speed with a trailer which is kind of what a dyno is somewhat simulating, you're gonna get on that highway three seconds faster. Next, we're gonna swap out to a slightly larger injector and we're gonna put push rod iron, uh, sorry, head studs in.
Alrighty guys, we just got done installing the 7 by 8 halfs. We're going to be testing this with the stock HX35 first. Uh, then from there, we'll go on and try something else. But for right now, let's see what these 7 by 8 halfs do. Okay, so the stock HX is our limiter here. Um, we didn't pick up a ton of power. It made 410, but it did put down a thousand foot-pounds of torque, um, which is up 70 foot-pounds. So we, we did pick up a pretty good torque number, but the HX was our limiting factor even before we did injectors. So we're gonna put the 6060 on. It's called an HX 356060, and that should give us ample room to be able to grow. We're, we're just too tight on the turbine housing. So let's get this turbo put on. This turbo did amazing. It picked up 40 horsepower, guys. This thing put down 440 ho I mean, 445 horsepower to the ground and 1,040 foot-pounds of torque. This little 6060 is an impressive little charger. But, I mean, I think that's all we're really gonna get out of it. Let's try putting the K27 on next and see what happens. Guys, this K27 is amazing. And what the other turbos do at 36 and 37 pounds of boost, this thing does at 33. Uh, this turbo put down 460 horsepower and 1,103 foot-pounds of torque. The more amazing part about this turbo is that it makes it about 100 RPM sooner than the HX6060 did. So the, the K27 is probably the best towing turbo you can get. It makes 22 pounds of boost by 1,500 RPMs. Very fast spooler. Um, but for right now, that was the last turbo we're gonna test for the day. We're gonna move on to another set of injectors. So until then, we'll see you next time.